Hey guys, well as you can see my office looks a little bit different today. Uh, I'm traveling right now, I'm working on my photography business, but I didn't want to leave you guys without any videos, okay? So I made a series for you guys, for you to enjoy, until I get back, alright? See you guys soon, bye. Alright guys, well we're in my 2018 as you can see, and uh, today's going to be a short video, but nevertheless hopefully uh, one that you enjoy. And what we're going to talk about is what was called a visor before. It is now in a new location and it has a bunch of cool presets you can use. So in this specific case, we're going to be looking at clothing, right? Now let's say you need a piece of clothing for your character and you don't want to start from scratch. You want to have a base model to work from. Well, that's what I'm going to show you, okay? So what you're going to do is open up a new scene and you're just going to go in to uh, generate. You're going to go down to get brush, open that up. And we're going to go in here to uh, modeling, uh, sculpting base meshes. And here you got animals. Uh, for example, you got a turtle and a shark and whatnot. You got bipeds, so characters, male, female, cartoony, and so forth, but also clothing. So let's say you want one of these um, items. So we'll take this uh, turtleneck sweater right here. We'll just double click on that. And that is actually going to open up as a scene. Some of these down here will open up as brushes and you need to convert them to uh, polygons, but this is actually straight up a scene, okay? So if you minimize this and you scroll out a little bit, you'll see that this has been uh, generated. I'm just gonna click on that and hit R to scale that way, way, way down. And we're gonna hit F to zoom in. So if I hit four for Wi-Fi mode, you can see pretty clean mesh. Uh, we'll hit five. I can go in and change this if I like. Uh, let's say I want this um, this collar here to uh, go out, for example. I'll just double click on that. You can change that and whatever you like, okay? And then when you go in and hit three to preview smooth, it will look perfectly fine. Now you're probably gonna say, yeah, but do I need to convert this? Well, no, you do not. Because if I, for example, go to Arnold and uh, let's go to lights and do a sky dome light, I'll just uh, hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's uh, bring down that intensity a little bit. And we'll just simply go and hit render. And there you go. You can see that it renders straight off, okay? So that's all there's to it. So uh, if you uh, lost touch with what was formerly called the visor, you now know where it is again, and you can go and play with all those presets, okay? Well, that's it for the short tutorial today, and see you guys soon. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.